The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Japan is still dumping radioactive material into the ocean, and radioactive fish continue to make their way across the Pacific to the shores of the American West Coast. Tuna captured off the coast of California continue to test positive for radiation from Fukushima. But are the levels high enough to cause concern? We spoke to Ken Bissler, senior scientist at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, about the problems in Japan. The story about the tuna is they can swim all the way across the Pacific. They're one of the few large species that do that. Now, studies have shown already, they've measured those after the events, and the concentrations get lower the further they swim away from the source. More than two years later, the nuclear power plant continues to contaminate the sea. So, bottom line, are the fish safe? Uh, I'm more concerned now about new reports of tanks that are leaking strontium-90. That's more of a bone-seeking isotope that gets in replacing calcium. And those fish bones, and if you consume small fish, uh, consumers of that would have a, a longer-term dose, a longer-term health concern. Japanese Fisheries Association executives have harshly criticized the Fukushima operator over the radioactive leaks, warning that the ongoing disaster could doom Japan's billion-dollar fishing industry. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel.